You hear that? Neither can I, because this boat's running on electricity. The Green Line is the world's first production hybrid yacht. Uh, it's uh, and sort of an accumulation of technologies which would allow the opportunity to have a, green, a more green footprint, uh, allow diesel and electric operation. With a quick switch, Dave Bonner of Bosun's Yacht Sales effortlessly turns this Slovenian-made yacht from diesel to electric. It's the first true hybrid yacht out there because it can store energy using batteries, generators and solar panels. If I decide to take the boat and start to drive, and I switch over to electric, I now have my dashboard come up. And most of this information is viewed from the boat's green pad. It's a wireless network on the boat that monitors all aspects of the operation of the boat. The green pad also doubles as a QR scanner for in-depth detail on how the yacht runs. So we can pop this green pad off, scan the QR code, and it'll pull up the schematic on that, pull up all the spare parts list, and essentially give me a breakdown of what I might need to do from a maintenance perspective. The green aspects of this yacht really begin with the hull. The shape of it makes it very efficient, and it's also about 25 to 30 percent lighter. Collectively, that allowed a hull that would be driven very efficiently by the electric motors, and even more efficiently, if you will, by the diesel motors. It's not just the hybrid features that make the Green Line desirable. An open floor plan gives it a home-like, non-claustrophobic feel. And we've got a full-size fridge, pretty much a fridge and freezer. There's no. even a wine rack in here. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, the Europeans are good at several things. One of them is making sure that people are comfortable when they're on the water. This 40-foot hybrid yacht can be yours for half a million dollars. Sounds pretty steep to me, but Dave says it's pretty comparable with other yachts of its size. If you compare that to other production boats uh, with similar features, irrespective of the hybrid aspect in terms of sleeping area, in terms of functionality, in terms of speed, range, it compares very favorably on a financial basis with any of those boats, diesel to diesel. It's a big purchase, which is why Dave says the hybrid market hasn't picked up as quickly in boats as it has in cars. Most boat owners are looking at converting their current yacht into a hybrid rather than buying a new one entirely. But he predicts more companies will soon develop hybrid models following the Green Line's lead. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz.